So in this way, uh, we need to uh, first know what is the virtues. So once we know about the virtues, like a ten virtues deed, and then second is like a what's the result of the virtues deed. Yeah. Then result again the same as a non virtuous deed. There's a four result like a ripening result, a result similar to the uh, action, a result similar to the experience, and the fundamental result. Four things. So all the Rapidly result, whatever virtues you committed is like a, we call the reborn high rebirth. So high rebirth is a rapidly result. Yeah? High rebirth means like be born as human or born as like a god realms. So the born human and god realm is the high rebirth. <coughs> and then uh, also virtues also there's a, like a, yesterday non virtues we talk about, there's a a complete one, also incomplete one, two things. So complete one is like a first one need to uh, intention to do good things, first one. And then second, either you do yourself or you ask to do behalf of you. For instance, let's say if you visit a stupa or temple or see master yourself, then you do some kind of a respect you do some kind of offering directly yourself. If you haven't got time to visit them, someone says, I'm going to that direction, then you ask, can you these things to offer on behalf of me? So you're asking someone else on behalf of you. So whatever way, is the same thing, whether you directly do this or someone that you ask. Second. And then third is like, a, you really uh, uh, satisfying, like I'm really grateful, I'm so lucky I had this opportunity, kind of a satisfaction. So when you have all this intention, action and satisfaction, then you complete it, complete virtuous deed. So this complete virtuous deed is a complete cause to reborn in higher realms. Yeah? So, but if you have intention but you're not deliberate, it's a virtuous mind, but incomplete. Still it has some beneficial, but not complete benefit. benefit. Uh, so whatever, sometimes we say like, a, oh, if I don't really go and do things, just having the thoughts is not worth it. People may think that. So don't, here says, don't be underestimate. Like every like a single positive thought is accountable. We say like, a, when you look at the rivers, when you look about lakes, when you look about ocean, all this water not just come once at a time. All this accumulated by drop by drop. You know? Each drop kind of accumulated become like a river, make an ocean, make a lake. So each virtues that you committed and it become like a large. You know? So don't be underestimate. Yeah? Every small, no matter how small it is, it's a value, it's accountable. <coughs> so this is the how to talk about the virtuous uh, uh, deeds. Now, the virtuous, uh, the <coughs> main results are uh, reborn high rebirth. Now, second is like a result similar to actions, means like a, someone who always engage virtues in this life. The next life, whether you're born in a Buddhist family or born uh, totally where there's no Dharma in this country, naturally you have this habit of doing good things. You know? Mentally you have a positive thinking, vocally you always say the right things, physically always do the right things. This is a kind of habit of the previous life. So this we call the results similar to the actions. Uh, then results similar to the experience, like then I talk all these ten things, like I say, like uh, if you uh, uh, stop coveting mind, result similar to experience like a, that person no much fear in his or her life. Always confidence. You know, some people you say he or she never have any fear. Reason why he or she don't have a fear because uh, they not have this coveting thought. That's the reason there's no fear at all. So that's a result similar to experience, first one. And then second, uh, <clears throat> uh, 
second one is uh, uh, the when you don't have a harmful thought. That's uh, like uh, uh, you always get what you want. Yeah, always easy to fulfill your wishes. No, not need much effort. Because uh, opposite is like when you harmful thought, you always kind of lose your goal, what you want. Always somebody destroys you. Now there's no one that stop disturbs you. You always get what you want. That's the, that's the second resistance experience. And the third is the right view. Always you have a right view. Say if I do this one, then result is the positive. If I do wrong things, I have been results the negative. So it means like you are very kind of a ethical person. The really ethical person means like a, not because you are afraid of the religion that you believe. You because very ethical because you think ah that's how I grow up in my culture. I have to live in that not this reason. Simply you know that living in a virtuous way is the cause of happiness. So this kind of way, uh, whoever have that kind of uh, view, we call the right view. So these three positive comes from the virtues, like a lizard similar experience. Now second <coughs> uh, is like a absence of four negative speech. The first one is like a uh, There's a, like a, if we absence of telling lying means that telling the truth. If you tell the truth, then you become very famous. Uh, either in the, within your uh, area or in the world, because the truth is like a uh, people understand and begin or not. Eventually, they find out your truth. So that's the reason, like a, for instance, Dalai Lama, so popular. Not because he's just a Tibetan monk. Every time when he go out, telling the truth, what's the reality of that? So when we, as a human intelligence, ex uh, examining, we found this is truth, then we respect comes. When we respect comes, naturally the person is so popular, so famous. Yeah. So fame is the result of the truth. That's the result of the experience. The telling the truth. And the second is uh, absence of malicious gossip like uh, is without similar experience like uh, you no need a much effort to make friends with others. Naturally just people like to want to be your friend. So you can see some people, you know, so like uh, our own uh, family members, some of our brothers, sisters, or some of our own children. We know one of them very easy to make friends in school. Some others are very hard to make a friend in school. Even they are not interested to make a friend, they, they put so much effort, but still they can't find a friend for them. Some they don't put, even they think of too much friend, I don't want it, but still they want to be. Kind of almost like a Facebook, okay? keep sending me, can you accept me? <laughs> <laughs> you know? So that kind of uh, is the absence, what we call the, the uh, malicious gossip, is a uh, way to make a friendship. And then third is like a uh, harsh word, yeah. So absence of harsh word is a really they say like a, makes you clarity in your mind, because when you look at like I say people do lots of harsh word, the mind is such a diluted, you know. When you harsh word, so it's really diluting your mind. So when you so diluted, you don't have any idea what you're really thinking of. You don't have any idea what you're talking about. You don't have any idea what you're doing about it. So when you have this uh, pleasant speech, kind word, you can see people who say really genuinely calm talking, not just pretending, you know, genuinely who are saying kind, say sweet things, their mind is such a clean mind, such a clarity mind. You know? So that's like clarity, you, if you want, not just a meditation alone, it can make us like, clean. You know? Meditation is one of the main methods to help us to clarity and calmness and peaceful, but also every day how we use our language is also important. And because the language is also influence the mind because it's not separate, you know, part of a, a part of the mind. What we say, most of this what we say comes from our mind. You know? uh, very seldom 
possibility, some word that come, you never think about it. But most, 99 percent, that recess come from our mind. So that's like a, you don't need it because the mind is not exist in the form you can see is it clean or unclean. Just people were saying, people were doing can tell what state of the mind. You know? Even you can see yourself what state of my mind. So how you want to check your mind is like a, you just reflect how you do things, how you say things. That really can reflect what state of your mind. You know? So that's really like a, uh, to develop the clarity of your mind. Then uh, it's a similar experience like a, on the uh, pleasant speech. Respectful speech. This kind of help us the create of the mind. That's the third one, and the fourth is idle talk. Absence of idle talk is like a, if you say the right word, then your words are such a powerful. Everyone bring your words as like a statement, or he said that. So the moment he has people who you respect bring that word, then. And the people will respect the word. Sometimes uh, people also misuse. You know, uh, people say even I have this opinion to because I know no one going to agree with me. Then instead of I'm saying, oh, this such and such person said that, then they accept you. You know, sometimes it happen this kind of a uh, community. You know, uh, so for instance, I'm not a good person, but I think. Oh, Kempo said that sometimes, for instance. Then after, oh, hey, but Kempo said we do it. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I'm not sure I'm said that or not, but people say so Kempo said it. <laughs> <laughs> so, so in this kind of way, like a, also same like a, I'm not that great with Dalai Lama, for instance. He been here said or not, but people say, oh, Dalai Lama said that. Some people, Use the element, people say, oh, that must be great. But actually, I'm not sure he said or not, but you just convert other to, so you have to use the element's name. So, unless that, I'm not talking, otherwise, what we're saying, like, uh, if you really consistently you say something that valuable, because we say, like, uh, the real who has the power to promote yourself is just yourself, no one else. But we think like uh, other people have the power to promote me. You know? If they can promote you, but if you don't have a quality, it's not going to help you. Sooner or later you're going to collapse. But if you have a quality, then other people's condition, the promote is to help you because other people don't know about you, you have the quality and then they, they come to you or they're oh, really right, you know, somebody recommend me to see you. So I really found myself now it's very valuable. But some of the recommended say it's nice, then when you come and not find it's good, they get disappointed. You know? So in this reason, one need to live with the, that quality is so important. So to live quality, you care for our word. Always when you say something, must have some kind of heaviness there. Must have some kind of value there. If you have some kind of value, every word they say, yourself actually promoting, upgrading yourself. You know? So we all want to be best person, we all want to be a successful person, but the best way to, to succeed that one, we need to use wisdom. You know? Just say I'm a great person, it's not going to be proof it's a good person for others. You know? I'm the most intelligent, it's just saying that it's not going to be proof other person you're intelligent. But you need to deliver that. You're intelligent, that helps others. They can see it. Then they say, yeah, that's right, you are intelligent. Or you don't need to say, I am a good person. You just do good things, then people say, so you are a good person. You know? Like uh, normally, people who say, I'm great, they're not great. <laughs> you know? uh, normally, people say, like, I'm not okay, but I just do my best. If you look at that person, they have such good qualities there. You know? so, that's, so how they climbing themselves, not important. Rather, we have to look at the person, say, kind of a, uh, what do you call them? Uh, <clears throat> how they live, that is important. Yeah. So in this uh, or four or virtuous uh, speech, there is a similar experience. <clears throat>